Welcome. All right, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, what I have is the sine squared of x plus 2 uh, sine of x plus 1 divided by sine of x plus 1. And we have this rational expression that we're going to have to somehow eliminate. And a couple of the ways that I've you know, talked about going through this, especially when we have um, a, uh, a binomial on the bottom, and especially when it's, you know, it, it's a, uh, in terms of our trigonometric functions, we can multiply by the conjugate to be able to get now a uh, we, to be able to now get a Pythagorean identity, and we could still do that, but I don't really want to multiply sine of x minus one on the top and bottom, just because you know that works. But then I have to multiply a binomial times a trinomial, and it just doesn't look like it's going to be fun. So I want to kind of think backwards. Rather than creating more work for myself, let's try to see how can I reduce the amount of work, and how can I kind of maybe work backwards. Well, you can see here I have some form of a trinomial. Uh, that I'm going to be able to work with. And we know that's trinomial raised to a second power. Then it has a linear term. Then it has a constant. So what I can do in this case is try to see, well, how could I maybe possibly factor this? So if I just looked at this in terms of variables, I would have x squared plus 2x plus 1. Well, that's pretty basic. I can see that's going to be x plus 1 times x plus 1. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But now, rather than just using x, I'm going to use sine of x. So therefore, I have this as sine of x plus 1 times sine of x plus 1, all divided by sine of x plus 1. So therefore, you can see that these are now similar terms. So now I can just divide out those two terms. And my final solution is just going to be sine of x plus 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you will simplify that expression. Thanks.